Now we need to be able to go in between the H plus concentration and the OH minus concentration. And the way we're going to do this is in water, there's something called an equilibrium. And in fact, um, we have H2O going back and forth with another H2O going back and forth to H plus, H3O plus, plus OH minus. Okay? Now, it turns out that this equilibrium, which means it has a forward and reverse reaction, we can write something called a K. It's an equilibrium constant. And it's actually given a special name, and we call that KW, which equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th. And that's um, equal to the concentration of the H3O plus or H plus times the concentration of the OH minus. Now, this equation in itself is not terribly important, but what it does do is it allows us to go in between H plus concentration, OH minus. In other words, if I know H plus or H3O plus, it doesn't matter really which one you use, then I can tell you what the other one is. And you do a little bit of rearranging, you come up with two equations. And they look like this. First off, we have H plus, and we put that underneath 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th, and that equals the OH minus concentration. So all I really did is I just rearranged that equation that we just came up. And then you have another equation where you can say the H plus is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th, divided by OH minus. So we now have two equations that we can go back and forth, that if I'm given the H plus, then I can get the OH minus. If I'm given the OH minus, I can get the H plus from one back to the other. And the, and the secret number, the magic number, is the 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th, and it needs to be on top, okay? Don't get it backwards. Now, how would we do this? Well, we just put it in our calculator. You would say 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th and divide by whatever it is. Now, be careful that you're using for the times 10 to the whatever is that you're using your, for this piece, you're using your EE key on your calculator or make sure that you put these in parentheses. That'll keep the times 10 to whatever attached to the equation so it doesn't mess it up. So let's do some together here to make sure that we can use our calculator. And let's say that we have the following. I'm just gonna make a, make a table and we're gonna use these two equations to go back and forth between H plus concentration, which is a molarity, and OH minus concentration, which is the brackets mean molarity. And let's just put down some random numbers here. So is it 1.0 times 10 to the minus 12th, let's say we have an OH minus concentration over here of 2.3 times 10 to the minus 11th. And what do we do? Well, if I'm going from one concentration to another concentration, I take 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th, put that in my calculator, and I say divided by uh, the 1.0 second EE, or use parentheses, 1.0, EE to the minus 12th, close parentheses, and put this in my calculator, and you should be put in your calculator as well. And I get 1.0, 1 1.0, 1 let me change colors here, I get 1.0 times 10 to the minus two. Now you should put that in your calculator and try as well. There it is. Now, you would have seen, now you could have seen 0 0.01. And if you think about your exponents, 0 0.01 is 1.0 times 10 to the minus two, because you can move the decimal point over two times. That's where the minus two comes from. Um, there is a button on your calculator where if you always want to 
if you want to put it in scientific notation, you can always just hit a, what's called a mode key and check the instructions for your calculator to see how to do that. Well, let's do the 2.3 times 10 to the minus 11th. Let's make sure we can get the same answer for that. And so once again, I'm going to go 1.0, second EE, and we're going to minus 14. And then we're going to divide by the 2.3, second exponent, minus 11. And I get 4.3 times 10 to the minus 4. There we go. And you should be able to put that in a calculator. Now pay particular attention to these exponents. You should always end up with a negative exponent on your answer. If you get a positive exponent or if you get something that's that's outside the range of, of 0 to minus 14, then chances are you, you're missing parentheses or something along those, those lines. So you should be able to try that and make that work. So let's do a couple of more and then that will be my examples for you. And so let's say that we have uh, 1.5 times 10 to the minus sixth. And let's say we had 2.9 times 10 to the minus eighth. What would we get? And so once again, I'm gonna say 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by the concentration you have to get the one that you don't have. So 1.5, second exponent, minus six, 1.0, second exponent, minus 14, divided by that concentration, 1.5, second exponent, minus 6, close parentheses, and I get 6.7 times 10 to the ninth, and we can do the last one as well, and we go 1.0, second exponent, minus 14, divided by 2.9, second exponent minus eight and we get our final answer which is 3.4 times 10 to the minus seventh and that's how you do it that's how you go back and forth between h plus and oh minus